Hey, this is Pete over at DIY Auto School, and we're in the middle of um, editing a video uh, for DIY Auto School. Now, I've been putting videos on YouTube for possibly over 11 years, and I've done a lot of interviews with a lot of people out there that uh, really gave me emotional um, what can I say, feelings after interviewing them because I, I like to talk to people, I like to to uh, you know, interchange with them kind of like my little dog right here but I'm going to ask everybody to watch this video all the way through to the end because I know that a lot of people that get on YouTube and watch videos they only watch 5-10 minutes of it and then they click to the next video but this is a really important video that um, I think is a helpful video and I think that everybody should be watching uh, this video and listen to the interview and use what the interview has to say to you to open your eyes and really see what the meaning of life is all about. Thanks for watching. You got to take care of your mom. This is Pete over at SWR and see how y'all doing today. Uh, we got us a visitor over here. Matthew? Yes, sir. Okay, we got Matthew over here today, and he's watching our DIY auto videos because he wants to learn a new trade in life besides what he used to do. Um, Matthew is a unique person. We're going to get a little interview with this guy and see what he's all about. How long have you been watching those videos? I've been watching the videos. A little while, a long time? Yeah. 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 So you're watching all my DIYs, or I'm what are you watching, watching Matthew? The schools, yes. Okay, you watching anything out? You watching my other channel, SWR? And... Yes. Sir. So you're watching them all, cussing and hollering and everything. Yeah. So uh, this is Matthew. Um, now we're going to listen to his story and see what his angle is, but I think everybody's going to learn a little lesson about this situation. So let's get with Matt and see what he's all about. How we doing over there, bud? You doing all right, Matt? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, you're not sir. nervous or nothing, buddy? You're I'm not so nervous. Okay, so what's going on, Matt? How you doing today? Shake your hand and make it. There you go, right there, buddy. All right. So you came over to my friend Pete's. He said, now you're over here in Plano. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, you're in Plano. Yes, sir. Um, and you got relatives up there, I guess, and, and yes, you're living sir. with your mom, taking care of her. I, I live with her for right now. But you had a job over at the gun shop. Yes, Right? Yes. Sir. And you were there for how long? Uh, ten for years. For like ten days or? Uh, ten, ten years. Ten years. You were yeah. there for ten years yeah. at this gun shop, and you had medical issues going on. You had to go to the doctors. You had to get your surgery, surgery done. And they'd say, Or whatever. Bye. Yeah. And then you get back in town, and what happens? And they'd say, bye. Nobody, nobody that, um, that when I worked in, no man of Jewish everybody in, uh, now how long were you gone though Matt I was gone since December of, of 2015 okay no I'm saying when you went and got your surgery how long were you gone until you went back like a week uh, I got back in August okay. of 2016 yes okay so you were out for a little while then yes yeah. and they claimed they said that you didn't call in right yeah and even the owner told you hit the road yep yeah. I yep. can't believe that, buddy. Yep. So you've been out of work for several years. You've, yeah. you've been looking for jobs, and then you said, you know what, I need to change my profession, but my yeah. dad was a mechanic. Yes, yeah, he was a mechanic 45 years. For 45 he, years. He worked on cars, um, 
and he owned an own shop back in the 90s. Uh, right, right up here in Dallas. Uh, in Dallas, yeah. Right. And, what and, happened uh, to your dad? What's going on with him? Uh, well, um, uh, when, when my, uh, the owner that owned the property told him by, and they turned Jeez. the... Uh, so he was renting a shop. He, yes, yeah. And then the owner said, well, you know, the lease is up, and yeah. you got to go, yeah. and I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, and then now now your dad's like in a slump because he just lost his life. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. How long was he in that location? Uh, he would, he went from 90, from 1990 to 2000. Ten years. Yeah. In the yeah. same location. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, now, was he kind of depressed over that when he uh, lost his shop? And uh, he lost it for a little while, and then he heard it back and oh, uh, couldn't do any more mechanic stuff. And then he heard it had neck surgery. Oh, son of a bitch! So that was in, and the mom helped helped him yeah. uh, get a bus driver aid. Cause my mom drives a uh, school bus driver. Your bus. mom's a school bus driver? Yeah, yeah. Wow, so your mom got a job, and now your dad's on his back. Yeah. He can't work. Right, yeah. And then it just got worse from there. I'm really sorry yeah. to hear about that, Matt. Yeah. Now, I see that uh, you are trying to look for a new profession, you're telling everybody out here. Yes. What are yeah. you trying to do? Um, I, I would like to work on my hands, of course. Um, oh. I, I would like to learn how to do more paint body stuff. I'm, I've never done it. I'm, um, I'm still trying to get in, uh, get all my equipment together. Yeah. Uh, Cause my social security can only go so far. Right, and they only give you so much. Yeah, and it's so... Kind of like welfare, you know, you only get this much money. Right, yeah, so yeah. I gotta wait every month. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. And so you're trying to get, you're, you're, what you're doing, you're getting on YouTube, watching videos, trying yeah. to learn how to do stuff. Yes, sir. To, to change your life around. Yes, sir. Is that what you're saying, Matt? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yes, sir. Now you said that you might want to get out there and possibly do work in, in people's uh, driveways yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like so if they got a dent, you can fix it. Yeah, yeah when I buy all Maybe that. touch up a, a fender or, or, or scuff a bumper and paint yeah, it. Or, yes, sir. I would yeah. like to do that and uh -huh. do body work, but I want to do my own truck, see how you it... You want to do your own truck yourself. Yeah, I would like that. Wow. To see how it goes uh -huh. before I screw up somebody else's car. Right, right. It's always better to test the, yeah. test the waters before you right. start swimming. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Well, Matt, we wish you the best of luck, but let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this. You said something about being a mechanic, too. Yes, yeah. You might I, want to be a mechanic. I, um, I, I, I was a mechanic helper uh -huh. uh, back in, in Duncanville. I was working for a guy that helps wheelchair people okay, and so dis disability yeah yeah because i noticed when you got out of your truck you had a lift on your wheelchair yes yes sir. Yeah, and see i had a i had a close friend of mine just pass away he was wheelchair bound oh no he was a paraplegic yeah is that what you are would you call no, yourself I, I, what, do, what do you call it? What, what's your angle i Matt? am uh, i was born spina bifida spina bifida yeah now that, what does that mean that is when my spine What's open, and you can see my spine. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah, the two kinds of spina bifida. Uh -huh. There's uh, uh, the one on your lower back. That's what that's I the got. One you had. And and the one that's on, on your neck. Yeah, and and so that, if you had the one on your neck, what would happen? You'll paralyze. Can't you're paralyzed. You're paralyzed for life. I yeah, mean, you, you can't move nothing. So Would you call that a quadriplegic or yes, paraplegic yes, or what? Yeah. yeah um, quadriplegic, that's yeah, like everything, even your mouth yes, and your eyes and everything? Yes, yes. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So and, God God blessed you by being a... Uh, uh, Expanded. Um, uh, uh, lower but, half instead of upper half situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, the doctors were saying I'm probably... One in a million that don't uh, that does not have legs and to live. be a spine and bed. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. When I was a little kid, I was really shocked when you rolled up into my driveway. When I was a little kid, and we're talking four years old, five years old, because I got a real good memory of my life. 
there was a little boy in Denver, Colorado that was born the same way you were. And he was our best friend on the block, bud. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't in a wheelchair, though. His mom and dad made a little cart for him to roll around, yeah. and he'd use his hands. Yeah. Like um, this, with a block in his... Have you ever seen that? They got a, He had a little block in each hand, and he'd roll around, but he was the yeah, funnest little kid. Yeah. Um, um, Were you born this way, Matt? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my, my, my dad made me, years ago, when I was a kid, uh -huh. he made me a... Uh, a bicycle with uh, three wow. wheels. Uh, a three-wheeler bicycle. Yeah, yeah. and I just and you pedaled it with your hands. Yeah, yeah, and the chain would move the big right, wheel. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He, Gosh, he made dude. all that for me. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you go to public school or private school? Uh, or I went school? to uh, public. Uh huh. You yeah. never got made fun of or people oh, did. Oh yeah, I did. But I, look at you, dude. You made it through life. Come on over here, Minnie. I did he was telling his story, and uh, he was born. He was born this way. He had uh, spinal bifida. Yeah, yes, man. And he says he was lucky that it wasn't the upper spinal and it was the lower spinal. Yes, and the two kinds of spine. Well, uh, the upper one would would be when you paralyzed and totally all that. Paralyzed. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so and, and you were lucky then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, I did. I was born with no legs. But I did have, again, you could say feet or stubs, wasn't I? You did? Yes. Uh, they uh, they would not go down. Oh, They okay. would go out. And so... They had to amputate so, those? Yeah. But they were kind of useless? Yeah, be, because I couldn't feel nothing. You couldn't maneuver them yeah, or anything? Yeah, yeah. So uh, wow. uh, my parents said at, at the age of three, they, they told the doctor... Put me upside down and get chainsaw and <laughs> say, You want two legs? Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> oh, I joked around with my legs, you yeah. know. Yeah. So. Well, well, I can say is you got. It was probably more of a hindrance than yeah. a help. Yeah. 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 All I can say, Matt, is you got a uh, very good positive attitude going. Thank you, sir. That's for sure, buddy. Thank so, you. let me ask you this, Matt. What's yeah. your angle, dude? You seem like a happy guy. Yeah, yes, you're sir. You're not. You got a positive attitude. You're not depressed. You're not hating the world. You're not trying to commit suicide. No, no, sir, no, sir. And, and um, you're, uh, and you're glad mean, to be awake every day that you wake up. Yes, sir. Um, now I'm going to ask you this, Matt. I want to ask you a question. Being in the condition that you are, in the shape that you are, with a positive attitude like you got, what can you tell this guy watching this video? that's down in the dumps, that thinks the world's coming to an end and he ain't got nothing in life. What can you tell him to straighten his ass up and get him back on track? Well, I would tell you that since I was born like this and sometimes it is hard for me, but I keep going, I keep going and uh, one day in life Somebody gonna reward me because I do the same thing with them right now. I help them out as much as I can if they just started to be in a wheelchair and they don't know what to do or they say it sucks, which it will suck from time to time, but it will get better. Because uh, I've been like this all my life and it does suck. But I just move on. What you're saying is, look at me, right? Yes. Look at me. Yes. You know? Yes. Look at me. I am. No, I'm saying you. That's oh, what you're okay. saying to yourself. Yeah, you know, look at you're me. You're saying to yourself, look at me. Yeah. Quit getting whining and crying out there. Look at me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right? You ain't going to make yourself any better sitting around whining and crying when there's, a, you know, the sun comes up every day. Am I right, Matt? Yes, sir. Okay, the sun comes up every day. You get a breathe of fresh air that God gives you. Yeah. Be happy with what you've got and quit bitching and complaining. Am I right, Matt? Yes, You're sir. talking about getting out there and doing your own truck. Yes. You're talking about painting your truck by yourself. Yes, sir. How the hell can you do that, Matt, in a, in a chair like this? What? Um, How would you do that? There, Explain there, that to me, buddy. There's no way you can figure out things. Um... Um, and I just don't have money to do it or the knowledge to uh, work it out. But but I found out two things. I what? thought about that I can get, um, um, I don't know what, what it's called, but when you go to 
a, a construction site. Uh huh. You know that elevator that That connects. lift. It's a lift. Yeah, lift. Right. Uh, I can do that. I can get one to uh, to uh, get get up high spots on the hood. Yeah, yeah. top of the hood or the cap. Right. I get that. Or you know how when you take off the hood uh -huh. on the car. Well, since and you put it down to your level and work on it. Yeah. So I'm looking at you, Matt, and I'm saying to myself, son of a bitch. I wake up in the morning sometimes and I bitch and holler and complain. But then when I see a guy like you, I'm telling myself, I ain't got it as rough as I really thought. Am I right, Matt? Yes, sir. Do you hear that a lot? Yes. Do you hear yeah. that a lot? Yes, sir. I hear, uh, I get a lot of people uh, to, uh, they think that I am was in the service. Right. Because uh, I will... Right, uh, right, right. Yeah. So I just say thank you and move on. Uh -huh, you know, I uh -huh. don't tell them a lie. You don't like, make a big uh, uh, discussion about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't lie. I just say you thank just you. just say thank you and have a great day. Yeah. There you yeah. go, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, bud, do you get a lot of people that, that uh, might look down on you? Yes. Like, uh, look at this guy. He's a fucking freak. Uh, you get that? I, I, mean, I got that. And how does that make you feel when people treat you like that, uh, Matt? I, I mean, you can tell by the aurora of people walking by you. Am yeah, I right? Yeah. Um, I just try to ignore them. Try to ignore it and just go on with life. Um, uh, I'm not going to say all black people do that, but most black people will do that. Wow. Uh, white people will do that too. Not all white. So you're saying it's a it's an average Joe. It's really not a yeah. It's really not a, a race thing. Right. It's just a. Maybe they're looking at you because you you know you're a different type of person. Right. Yes. You're you're a special individual, right. and they might be looking at you like, wow, you know, look at this guy. Yes. He's yes. out there doing what he's got to do. Yes. Sir. And they might be thinking what I'm thinking. They're thinking to themselves, you know what? I thought I had it rough. Yes, sir. That's yeah. Yes. That's what I wanted to say. But yeah, if you if I can do it, tell you but can tell. Go ahead, tell them. If I can do it. You can do it. There you go, dude. I mean, and, and let me tell you, life gonna suck, and it does, but I can do it. You give me a chance, and you can do it. You need to get your ass out and get a job. Now, I ain't never met you before in my life. Yes. But you claim you're watching my videos. Yes. So when you came over here, you're figuring, you know, my friend Pete, he seems like a nice guy. Yes, sir. And I'm going to go over there and visit him. Yes, sir. Well, you're damn lucky you came over because we're heading out to Moab, Utah today. Oh, yeah. You might have missed us. Oh. And I'm really glad you did. I'm really glad that I met you, Matt. Well. And I hope to see more of you over here. Uh, well, um, I was want to know if uh, you could show me around. Well, so, I can't today because my shop is too busy. Okay. Okay. But what, this is what I want to do. When you come, when I come back in a couple of weeks, I want you to come over. I can do that. And, and I'll show you around. I can How do that. How does that sound, buddy? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I right. can do that. Now, you've been watching videos on YouTube, not just mine, but other people's. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I will show you something. Okay. Um, so that's what you got, dude. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, and you're looking for some professional advice that's not going to shift you the wrong way and screw you around just so you can buy <laughs> So anyway, Matt, what I was thinking is maybe possibly you can come over here a couple times and we can show people, you know, that people are like you are out there learning. Yes, sir. People that are watching my videos are really learning what's going on. Yes, sir. What do you think of that idea? I would love that. I would love that. To, uh, even if I mean, I can't guarantee, you know, you're going to learn anything. I mean, I can't, like, hire you as an employer or nothing. Right. But you can come over here a couple times, and I can teach you some angles and, and you know, get your hands. Let me see your hands. Are You you got working hands there? Big, okay, big dude. hands. I you guess. got working hands, so that yeah. means that you might be able to do some work and, and yeah. we can get something going and teach you some angles. What do you think? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you told me that you were out there buying tools. What yeah. did you buy? Um, bought me a, a buffer. Um, you bought uh, a buffer? Yeah. A, wow. A, a buffer. Um, it's a six inch buffer uh -huh, uh -huh. thing. Uh, I, I also got a three inch. Uh, buffalo for headlights wow. and all that stuff. Um, so you're going to try to get in business. You're you're already thinking about maybe possibly buffing people's headlights. Yes. Because yeah. uh, I see where you're going with that. Because a lot of them headlights they turn they turn yellow. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you're thinking, you know, that might be an angle where I can make some extra money, get out of the house, do something yes, sir. with my life. Yes, sir. Well, so, um, but uh, I, I, I got a lot of tools. Uh, I got a toolbox because I used to work as a mechanic right. helper, and I got Plus a lot of Plus, you have your toolbox. You had to have the toolbox yeah. for your uh, gunsmith tools. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, Matt, shake a hand, make a friend. Are we going to see you back over here at SWR and see my friend Pete's? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy. Yes, sir. My friend Pete might show you some tricks. We're, we're excited for you to come back, but I won't be back for about three weeks. Give okay. me about two and a half, three weeks, and then come on back, okay? All right. All right, buddy. So, anyway, that's the situation we got over here. We got people watching DIY Auto School, every size, shape, form, and technicality that we can, because my friend Pete is not just a teacher. My friend Pete is your friend. And that's my angle in life, is to help you out and get you off your ass. We saw what Matt's doing. You know, wake up. That's all I can tell you, wake up. Uh, Matt's going to be back over here. We're going to give him a couple lessons over here at DIY Auto School. And hopefully he's going to learn. And I really don't see a problem with that because he's excited to do so. Take it easy. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.